Sunday at this time, Pat Sullivan from Sullivan Hardware and Garden gives us some great do-it-yourself advice for home improvements. Perhaps you have a Sunday project and would need a little help. Well, today he talks about taking care of some of those pesky flies that are in your house. Well, it seems like there's all kinds of little bugs flying around the kitchen of the house. It, we are selling fruit fly traps like crazy, those little, just those little natty things. But there's other things in the kitchen around the house besides a fruit fly because there's also drain flies, there's meal moths in the, in the pantry, pantry pests, that type of thing. So somewhat determining what you have uh, is important, but on the other hand, sometimes it's some of the same treatment. So first of all, fruit flies, that seems to be, they're uh, kind of right now, they seem to be everywhere. You go in restaurants, you'll see them in restaurants. And a lot of it is from, you know, you get fruit and different things, vegetables sitting around, and it, as it starts to soften, they can actually start to come from those and actually start to, to breed there. Believe it or not, the cycle is one week, one week from egg to maturity, and each, each one can have 500, lay 500 eggs. So you can kind of see how quickly they come. Now, they can also, they can actually breed inside of a drain. So you get a fruit fly uh, in the drain, but you also get drain flies in the drain. So one, way, one thing you can do to see if they're breeding inside of a drain is take some tape, and you just take masking tape and just tape it over the top overnight, over the top of a hole, punch a little couple holes in there, and then pull it off in the morning and see what's stuck underneath. If it's kind of a hairy looking fly when you smash it that's got a soot on it, that's a drain fly. Uh, the other is probably a fruit fly. So fruit flies, you're always obviously cleaning up any kind of rotting food that is starting to go. But these little traps do a tremendous job. This is a fruit fly trap. A couple of them come in a package. It's, it smells like it's like a vinegar. You can make homemade ones too with apple cider vinegar. And you just pop it in there. And it creates kind of a sleazy nightclub for a fruit fly. And then all of a sudden they buzz it. And it really does help. But cleaning up the fruit, the uh, waste baskets where there can be some rotting food underneath the, all those places are places. Now, if it's drain flies, drain flies inside here, you can actually put a little insecticide down there. But the other thing is getting rid of, this is for a lot of good reasons here, drain care. This eats the organic matter inside of the drain. So putting a couple scoops in, this is going to help the drains continue to flow, but it also takes away the places where the drain flies actually breed. So pouring that down in there all around the house in different drains. But the other thing is you've got them, you really got them, take some insecticide, indoor insecticide at night, put some down there, put a wet cloth over the top, and that will kind of take care of them. So very important there, uh, pantry pests like the uh, the moss and stuff, you can get non-toxic traps. It's got a little sticky thing and put it in the pantry or around the, uh, the cabinets. And uh, But same thing, taking care of getting rid of those, those places where their breeding is so important. Ants is another one. We get tons of ant calls. And again, a lot of people don't like to spray inside, and I certainly understand that. These are little uh, traps. And you can make homemade ones, too, uh, using different things, vinegar. Cut that off. Set them around. The ants swarm them. They take them back to their little nest and the whole bit. This is uh, for outside. Doing a band treatment on the outside of the house, really important. You spray about three, five, three to five foot out from the foundation up to a height of two to three foot, all the sills. That'll take care of spiders and ants and stuff coming in. This one can actually be used inside. And I understand a lot of people don't want to use an insecticide inside, but it is available. So there seems right now a lot of things buzzing around the house, but there's things that you can do to kind of clean it up. Oh, yuck. Eggs in the pantry never sounds like a good thing. All right, Pat Sullivan from Sullivan Hardware, team chairman and cleaning out the pantry later today in this rainy day.